Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and today we are doing seafood subs and fries. Sounds good to me. All right, so let me show you guys what we have. Uh, first off, let me show you, I have my Pepperidge Farm. Um, they're kind of like the sub rolls, hot dog rolls. Um, you know, as you can see here, the kind that's open at the top, that's the kind I wanted. So, all right, that's what we have. And we have some Alexa Smart Classic Crinkle Cut Roasted and Sea Salt Fries. Y'all know I've been loving those lately. We got our flour back there ready. Um, and let's see what we have in here. If I can get this container open. Okay. All right, now in here I have lobster. It's all nicely chopped up into chunks because we're going to have seafood subs. So I've got some lobster here chopped up into chunks. And shrimp, of course. Gotta have shrimp. Got some raw shrimp here, all nicely chopped up as well. You guys will see how I cook that. So, I've got my shrimp and lobster. Of course, y'all know I had that already cleaned up. I cleaned that up yesterday, had it marinating overnight. So, it is nice and ready in all the seasons. I just basically use the Oibe. I use the Oibe Blackened, a little garlic salt, a little pepper, um, a little bit of Cajun, just a little bit to give it a little spice. Um, and that's basically all I used um, to season the shrimp and lobster. And of course, we got our fries back there. You guys will see how I'm going to fry those up as well. The shrimp and lobster, I'm going to fry those up. It's going to be seafood subs, but I'm going to fry the shrimp and fry the lobster. Sounds good to me, y'all. I'm ready already. Y'all know I stay ready. All right. That's what we're cooking today. So let's go. Okay. I've got my oil already. I'm going to go ahead and fry the fries first. Get those taken care of. These Alexa fries are really good. And of course, y'all know I still add my my uh, Dollar Tree seasoned salt to them. Just to give them a little extra flavor. I mean, because it says these are sea salt. I mean, they have a little salt. They don't have a lot of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these fries in here. Get these fried up because it ain't going to take the fries long to cook. So, uh oh, dropping fries. Okay, so we got our fries in here. We're going to let those get all nice and brown and fried up. And then we're going to fry up our shrimp. And then we are going to we take y'all in a little bit. Yeah, that oil. I guess it's still I guess it's still thinking about getting hot try. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead, guys, uh get the fries all fried up. Uh then we'll move on to our shrimp and lobster. And what makes it quick and easy, well, not quick and easy, but makes it easier for you if you prep the lobster and shrimp the day before. That way you're not trying to do it the day of, unless you want to. That's up to you. But I like to let my um, meat, shrimp, anything that I'm um, fixing the next day, I like to let it marinate overnight so it soaks in all those juices and seasons. So, um, so all right, let's get these fries done and then we'll move on. I'll be back to show you guys the fries once I'm ready to pull those out. Okay, guys, our fries are ready to come out. Let's go ahead and bring them out. I love them. A nice golden brown. Let me see. I want to take you guys in so you can see this. Taking you in. I love for my fries to get a nice golden brown. I'm trying to get some picked up so you guys can see. Nice golden brown. Let's see. Because y'all know I like to have y'all all in the business. Okay. Let's back y'all up a little bit. Go. Nice golden brown fries. Let's get them out. I don't like my fries all too hard now. I do like them fried brown and nice and golden brown with a little crunch on the outside. But I don't like them too hard where you can't still have that soft of the potato on the inside. I mean, they're french fries. They're not supposed to be all hard. But you know what? Some people like their fries crunchy and hard. Some people do. But me, 
little bit of golden brown nice a little crunch on the outside and um, nice and still a little soft on the inside like a little crunch on the inside too now Ooh -wee. I'm telling you the Alexia that whole line of fries is really good I love they got all kind of fries they got sweet potato fries regular fries I saw the other day when I was in Publix they had a uh, spicy sweet potato I like to see what that tastes like I'm gonna get those spicy sweet potatoes and cook those for the channel let me back y'all up here back up so y'all can see your fries real good oh look at them fries oh baby let me bring y'all up a little bit oh yes oh yes oh look at those fries fresh out the oil Fresh out the oil. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, that's enough. Get out my business. All right, we're gonna put our fries to the side. Get back to our oil. Let me put y'all back in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop in my lobster. Go ahead and drop in my lobster here. Get that cooked up. And as you guys can see, I've got my lobster lightly floured, not too much flour but enough to give me what I need. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me get the lobster dropped in. Ooh -wee. If you've never had fried lobster, it's a definitely must try. And this is just like, I think it's four or five, four small lobster tails I got from my local Publix. They're on sale. I think for like five or six bucks. Y'all know lobster can be pricey, so it's best to catch that on sale for me. Y'all know me. Uh-uh. I'm going to catch it on sale. And yep, I'm glad I caught it on sale for our seafood subs. Oh, yeah. And these should cook up real fast because it's just little lobster pieces. Lobster tails that I cut up. Let me show you guys how I cut it up. She just cut it up into chunks. That's all I did. Little lobster chunks. We're going to go ahead and let that fry up. It should fry up rather quickly for us. Let me get my plate here. So when this lobster gets ready, I can just pull it right on out. Take y'all in there. Take y'all in. Yep. And like I said, it shouldn't take the lobster and the shrimp long to cook at all. See how fast they're browning? And remember, the oil's already hot. We just took our fries out. And the reason why I cooked the fries first is because I didn't want the fries to have a seafood taste. Now, normally if I fry chicken, I'll put the fries in after the chicken and they won't have a chicken taste. But we all know seafood. That's a whole nother, nother ball game. So I cook the fries first so they won't get the seafood taste. I'm cooking the lobster. Either way, you can cook the lobster first, shrimp first. It don't matter. They're both seafood. I'm cooking the lobster first because I've got more shrimp than lobster. Don't want to fry it too hard. But you do want to get that outer brown crust on the outside you want it to be a little you know brown on the outside and like I said you don't want to over fry it don't want to over fry your lobster then it'll be all like rubbery because you know lobster already got that lobster y'all know what I mean that lobster taste to it and these are about done y'all see these only took like maybe two or three minutes it's gonna take long for them to cook now it don't take long you see how they looking and they gotta cook a little bit more all right i'm gonna give them a second let them get a little bit brown i'll let y'all stay right there because i'm gonna be pulling these out any second so i'll give them another minute probably not even that i'm gonna toss them around a little bit more in a second and then as soon as I pull this lobster out, I'm going to put my shrimp in there so we can get that shrimp done. And I'm telling you, it took, what, maybe five minutes for the fries. It's going to take maybe 
I don't know, let's just say five minutes for the lobster and about five minutes for the shrimp to cook. 15 minutes, everything's done. That's why I prepped the shrimp and lobster the day before. That way, all I gotta do is flour it, throw it in the um, oil. Done, quick, easy. All right, let's get this lobster out. I'm gonna bring y'all in so y'all can see. Cause we don't wanna overcook this lobster. We don't wanna over fry it. Looking good. Looking delicious. I right, can see that. Nice and brown. Seafood subs. Now you can put all kinds of stuff on your seafood sub. Ranch, you can do um, mustard, you can do buffalo sauce, you can do like a buffalo ranch sauce. Do all kinds of stuff. And you can do no sauce if that's what you want. No sauce. You can do that too. Whatever you like. Me, I'm going to do a mix of buffalo and ranch. I want to do like a buffalo ranch kind of style and let me give you guys a good look at that fried lobster let me back you guys up oh don't you're trying to go in okay all right that looks good give y'all a nice good look at that fried lobster oh look at it it looks delicious fresh out the oil look at it oh it smells so good too y'all it smells so good let me back y'all up. Y'all keep trying to get in the business. Oh, look at that nice golden brown fried lobster. Like I said, just small lobster tail. I cut into chunks. Looks so good, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, look, y'all. Ooh-wee. Under the sea. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's get our shrimp dropped in. And I think we're just going to drop all the shrimp in. We should be able to drop all of the shrimp in here and let it cook up. I'm going to see if I can get it all in here. I should be able to. And let me show you guys a trick. Anytime you're dealing with hot oil and you don't want to get burnt like, like the oil splashing, I just drop everything on one side. Everything on one side. Just a little trick. Drop all your food on one side on top of each other. Okay. And then you take whatever it is you're using to fry it and then you just push it around. That way you're not dropping it and that oil popping up on you. Just a little trick I learned. And the shrimp, they're going to cook fast. They're going to cook just as fast as the lobster. So we've got all our shrimp in there. It could fit. And remember, that's a whole bag of shrimp that I have in there. And the only thing I did, I just cut the shrimp in half. Take you guys in a little bit more. I just cut the shrimp in half. That's all I did. Into little chunks, you know? Just like I did with the lobster. Because remember, we're making subs. So, I mean, but you know what? You could keep the shrimp whole. You don't have to cut it. I've seen some um, seafood stuff like that where the shrimp is just fried, it's not cut. I just think it's easier for the girls to eat, for, you know, for, for me, even me. I just think it's easier to eat that way. You know, when you're biting into your sub, it's all nice big chunks of meat instead of being big pieces of shrimp, you know. I just think it's easier to eat. But we're going to let these shrimp fry up. I'm going to take a piece of this lobster. Don't tell the kids. Oh. Oh my God, that is amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, that tastes amazing. I got a season just right. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. See what's going on with our shrimp here. Get it tossed around a little bit and then I'm gonna leave it alone and let it fry up. You don't wanna bother your food too much when you're frying it now. 
You don't want to bother it too much. Especially when you got that flour on it. Mm, 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 mm. When I tell y'all that lobster is so good, that lobster is so good. I can just eat that lobster plain, just like that. With some buffalo sauce, of course. Because I like, I like my stuff spicy. I like a little buffalo sauce. A little Cristal hot sauce. I like Frank's too, but if I had to pick, Cristal's my favorite. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Crystal hot sauce. I call it Cristal. Y'all don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't be too boozy. Word of the day. There you go. Word of the day. Don't be too high. Don't be too high. Nah. Be too high, you get knocked down low. Because the higher you climb, the harder you're going to fall now. Don't think too high of yourself. Don't think too, you know. I'm telling y'all, when I give y'all the word of the day, it be stuff that I've been through. It's from my experience. Don't think you too high, you too, hmm. The same way you went up is the same way you'll come down. That's why I always say, stay humble. I ask God every day, God, please keep me humble. Please, please, please keep me humble, Lord. Please, please, please. Every day. Oh, this shrimp looking good. Okay, shrimp. I'm going to toss y'all around one more time. Then I'm going to leave y'all alone. And let y'all get all brown. and y'all get all nice and brown. Make sure everybody's spreading out so they have enough room to cook. basically all I'm gonna do guys you seen the sub bread I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the sub bread out um, put the shrimp put some shrimp some lobster and like I said some ranch and buffalo sauce across the top of it I might mix the two together you know and just put that across the top and my fries on the side hmm we eating good anybody can do this lobster on sale at Publix fries is on sale Shrimp was on sale. Everything was on sale. You can do what you want when you put your mind to it. Do anything you want. See what our shrimp doing. Okay. They getting ready now. Look at that shrimp. It's getting ready. Okay, y'all. Go on on and do what y'all got to do. Mmm, them little shrimp chunks looking good. And see, that's going to make it so good to just bite into your sub with them shrimp chunks and lobster chunks. Just seafood. A seafood sub. With some fries on the side. You can't tell me that don't sound good because I know it does. And them fries looking good over there with some ketchup. I like my fries with ketchup now. To each his own. Most people eat their fries with ketchup. Alright, so our shrimp should be coming out soon, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let those shrimps finish uh, cooking. And then I'll come back, guys, because they're, they're probably going to take like another two, three minutes. I don't want to have you guys just sitting here looking at, even though I know y'all want to sit here and watch the food. Because some of y'all like me, y'all love to eat. Yes. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let them shrimp finish. And y'all know I'm keeping y'all right here. I will be back to show y'all me pulling the shrimp out. I'll be back. Okay, the shrimp is ready to come out. Give y'all a good shot. Taking y'all in so y'all can be in the shrimp's business. Not my business, but the shrimp's business. Yeah, so here we go. Ooh, look at that shrimp. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, baby. Yes, it is. All right, let me go ahead and get the shrimp out. I'm gonna put it on the other side of my lobster here. Yes. Let me get my stove off. The shrimp smells amazing. They look like the lobster. 
I'm sure that's because I chopped them all up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. With some buffalo and some ranch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of little pieces of shrimp. Make sure I get all my stuff. All my stuff I pay for. And make sure I get it all out. Mm -mm -mm. Almost finished y'all. Because I know y'all ready to see it. Ready to see it. Little pieces of shrimp. Got a lot down in here. A lot of shrimp. Got it was a whole bag of shrimp. We uh oh lost a piece of shrimp. Man down. Okay. All right. Got all our shrimp out. Throw that away. All right, y'all. We got all our shrimp out. Let me show y'all the shrimp. Okay. Bringing it in. Let me back y'all up. Back up. So y'all can see the shrimp. Ooh, look at the shrimp. Mm, 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 mm. I know y'all see the shrimp. Look, you can see all the seasons. All the stuff I season it with. Parsley, y'all see the star of the show. Don't do that. Y'all see that green stuff. That is the star of the show. The parsley. Of course, I'm going to add more, child. Because, you know, he got he to gotta show up and show out. So, we've got our lobster on this side over here. This right side. And we've got the shrimp over here. Looking delicious show y'all that lobster again Ooh -wee. all right so let's go ahead over here to the table where i got the fries at y'all hold on y'all slide hold on okay all right okay there y'all go oh stop it camera there he goes all right okay Shaking y'all in so y'all can see the lobster and the shrimp better. Lobster is looking good. Our shrimp is looking good. Let's go ahead and add the star of the show. Mm -mm -mm. I already put the star of the show on the fries. I already put my Dollar Tree season salt. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in for the grand finale on that shrimp. On the lobster. Y'all seen it from the beginning to the end. Everything looks amazing. Let's get our fries over here. So y'all can see. I already. Let me take y'all into those fries. Yes. I already put the star to show on them. And some seasoning salt. Oh yes. Alright y'all. That's it. That's it. That's all. Seen me do it. You know I did it. That's all I can tell y'all. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys, knowledge is power. Bye guys.